Well, today's testimony at the synagogue shooting trial focused largely on DNA evidence. But we're also seeing new video of SWAT team members carrying the gunman out of the building after he was taken into custody. Andy Sheehan has been following the trial since it began, and he's live at the federal court building downtown. Andy. Well, in the nearly five years since the synagogue massacre, we have never seen video evidence of the defendant. But today, the court released dramatic video of him being taken from the synagogue. Actors in custody. Uh, the room is secure. We need uh, attack medics up to our location, third floor. After all the carnage he had caused and two shootouts with police, the suspect surrendered saying he was wounded and had run out of ammunition for his AR-15. Not knowing if there were other shooters in the building, SWAT medics took him out of the synagogue by this fire escape. Paramedic Sean Eigenbrode testified Bowers moaned when he bumped his elbow against the wall of the synagogue, leaving this blood trail. I said, sorry, dude, I'm trying to stabilize you so we don't fall, Eigenbrode testified. While taking the defendant out, police shouted to Eigenbro to ask Bowers about this, this green timing device found in the room. Police witnesses had expressed concern the device might be an IED, an improvised explosive device. But Eigenbro relays Bowers' statement that this was not an explosive, but what's known as a green meanie, meant to distract police. He said it was going to be a loud noise. Earlier, police SWAT officers described Bowers crawling to them out of this office where he had barricaded himself with his AR-15 and Glock pistols. On the transmissions, Officer David Blayhut relays Bowers' reason for the attack. As the suspect keeps telling about uh, killing Jews, uh, he doesn't want any of them to live. Retired Allegheny Police Lieutenant Michael O'Keefe quoted Bowers as saying similar statements about killing Jews, quote, he said the invaders were coming. O'Keefe testified that Jews were killing our children, and he had to take action. Well, today, witnesses testified about evidence taken from Bauer's cell phone and from his apartment. I'll tell you what that was coming up at 5 o'clock. For now, reporting live at the U.S. Courthouse downtown, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.